So from an infrastructure perspective, we have a variety of things to consider. When we talk about networking technologies, we really have, and, and again, we're going to focus on this more in depth as we get into the classroom environment, but if you think about networking technologies, we really deal with a, a variety of different connectivity considerations. The first is a local connectivity consideration, and that really relates to how do we interconnect within a geographically separated space, a geographically isolated space, those systems and those environments within that space. In this case, you'll hear terms such as local area network, LAN. You'll hear terms such as 802.11 or wireless LAN, WLAN. You'll hear uh, terminology related to connectivity with Ethernet or, or fiber optics or some other specific kind of technology related to the local connectivity. Infrastructure considerations in the local environment are extremely important. Uh, the reason for that is that the connectivity typically in a local environment extends not only from the individual machine that a user might be using, but also back to the system components that allow access to those applications that provide business services, such as email or database access, etc. We're going to talk more in depth about what, is con what the consideration is related to local area network or LAN connectivity as well as some of the considerations related to wireless as we get into class. But it is important to understand that that is the first piece of this environment. The second piece is the wide area network or the connectivity outside of your local connectivity. And oftentimes a wide area network, a WAN, is defined as connecting multiple LANs. That may or may not be the case in terms of modern technology. Um, but it is, a, it is a common definition that makes sense moving forward. So what is a WAN? Well, a WAN typically will utilize external services such as point-to-point uh, -point, uh, T1s, T3s, OCs, uh, optical carriers, which we'll talk about more in depth, uh, that are typically leased or purchased from a carrier. Now this can change depending on the environment that you're in. In some cases, a carrier, carrier will provide what they call a dark fiber connection, for example, which is a dedicated service that's leased to the organization that only that organization has access to. But for the most part, and, and, and many other cases, it is a shared leased service. For instance, the use of something like Frame Relay or MPLS. These types of environments are shared by multiple entities, managed and owned by the carrier, and then the services are leased to the client. So from a, from a business perspective, it's important to understand that there are multiple options as it relates to this kind of technology and this kind of connectivity. And really the choice of connectivity depends to a large extent on what is the best alternative for the organization 